yeah your name video <laughs> I was gonna say it is brought to you by but it's not brought to you by anybody I bought it but is about Holland and Barrett's skincare range that they do <laughs> I bought it myself like that was just coming out of my brain <clears throat> anyway we're gonna be talking about these today and these are the Dr. Organic Bioactive Skincare Organic Manuka Honey Face Mask and Organic Manuka Honey Face Scrub. I have a thing for, I want to say like herbal remedies. I know that they're not herbal, but they're organic herbally ish And I bought these, I think they were buy one get one free, buy one get one half price, one or the other. And I pretty much bought these because of the Manuka Honey, because... Who doesn't love Manuka honey? Let's talk about the face scrub, considering that's what you do first. This face scrub is yay. Yay for the face scrub, we like it. Let's see what it says. A bioactive deep cleansing exfoliant with natural skin restoring and nourishing properties. Deep cleansing, restoring and, and nourishing. That's the same thing we had before. On the back it says feel free and feel the difference. It says paraben free, SLS free, no artificial colours, fragrance or harsh preservatives. Which is pretty much what you'd expect from Holland and Barrett and I don't know if it smells like honey. That's in my face. I love how that's the first thing I go through when I'm doing a video is what does it smell like? Because this is a yay or nay I'm going to probably talk two things. I do love this product but it is a little bit harsh. Not really bad but the exfoliant bits that are in it are quite big. So they're not like little and they don't dissolve on your skin which I was expecting them to do with it being organic I was hoping it was going to be a bit more like a sugar scrub but the cleansing ball bits are big and a bit harsh so it is a bit stingy when you rub it on you've got to make sure you do this very gentle and any places where you do tend to break out like for me it's my cheeks as you can tell is my cheeks so when I use this on my cheeks I do it very lightly and just a little bit but it does really feel like it gets right in there and gets all of the crap out, basically. It is, it's not oily, it's not over drying, it's, once you wash it off, your skin just feels lovely and clean and fresh. So I would recommend this one, as long as you take into account, you've got to be gentle. The other one is the Manuka Honey Face Mask and this is Oil Absorbing Cell Rejuvenating and Detoxing Face Mask and exactly the same on the back, Parabon Free, SLS Free, No Artificial Colours and literally because it was bad one get one, half price. It smells exactly the same as this one but I can't, I can't explain what it smells like, I can't smell the honey. But this face mask is wonderful. Yay, yay, yay. I don't think I can really think of anything bad to say about it, apart from it's difficult to wash off your face because it's so thick and so rich that when you go to wash it off, it, like, it comes off in layers. So you kind of have to like push quite hard on your skin to get it off. It doesn't come off very easily, but you know, it's not a bad, it's not like the worst thing in the world. Well, we'll read through these. That's probably best, isn't it? The oil absorbing, absorbing, I think that this does one hell of a job at doing that, especially after using this as well. I tend to get really oily, T-zone area, to be honest. And after I wash this off, it's like squeaky clean, clear, no oil, no grease, no nothing. Cell rejuvenating, I don't really know how to tell a difference from that, to be honest. I haven't noticed a huge difference after using this apart from my skin does look cleaner and fresher straight after using it. I only use this about once a week more just to relax because it is so thick and cooling and when you put it on it's just like ugh, it's just I use it more for the relaxation I think. I use this if I really need some hydration like I use this when I came back from my holiday in May because I had like I wasn't sun damaged, I didn't burn my face, but you know when you're just feeling a little bit dry and a little bit, I need some sort of moisture. I put this on and was just like, oh, it just felt so much better. So I do recommend both of these products. I do like this one more than this one. That is it for today's yay or no video. Make sure that you thumbs up. I'm trying to thumb up on that one then, thumb up. Thumbs up, subscribe, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next 
see you next time. What is wrong with me today? Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.